Namaste. How do we break through the different stages of the Gajari Mudra? How do we manage each zone and what to expect? And how do we release a technique so we do it safely? So for this talk um, and lesson, let me give you more tips and insights, as well as how to manage the manifestations and the effects of the method as we go through uh, the stages. Not just um, the effect of the practice to our bodies, on how to utilize the breath so we do it safely as well as how to accept the spiritual um, side effects or implications of the practice at this stage of your journey you should now be able to master the energetic system and the bandhas either finger la shishumna they are manifesting already you can access them through the breath and the kundalini energy is calm already you are resting in the heart so physically you are not anymore caught up with the accomplishment of the physical body like you've done your share and there's no clinging anymore there's no attachment so the acceptance of the temporariness of the mortal existence in elements yeah. is so acknowledged yeah. now you're more attuned to your relationship with your community and your relationship with yeah, the universal force the cosmic force the absolute force and the calling is not anymore on developing the physical body yourself but helping others if you are feeling that already it's really a beautiful stage of transition you might consider you know, learning the Gajari Mudra because it will reinforce the energy channeling method we've learned from our bandhas as we could use the energy we will be harnessing and producing later on to heal and help others or teach and people how to find theirs without necessarily teaching them the deeper aspect but to translate our teachings and lessons to something which are more real life and could easily be you know, appreciated by the many so those are really essential yeah, and the teacher would give you the program or yeah, it may have uh, been developed through your upbringing I got mine from my parents um, the heart is sorted you know, the physical body the techniques leading to the Kachari Mudra they are easy to learn yeah. but once the subconscious mind manifests and you experience and are faced with some spiritual challenges which may not agree with your belief system, principles, then it could be problematic. You, know, you don't want to create conflict. So with you accomplishing the spiritual responsibilities which your teacher will give you, then you prepare your heart. All right. So my goal for this talk is to help you um, refine your technique more, especially the breathing process. Um, that's you do it safely. Um, Kachari Mudra uh, will come knocking. Uh, really, uh, it has some uh, distinct manifestations when you're ready, like the pulsation of the electricity starts to accumulate the, the mouth, the joint, the teeth, then it's an indication of readiness as you process the Kundalini energy higher because the Kundalini energy rises up and as she makes her way up through the neck region and she will make her presence felt here around the mouth and Kachari Mudra is one uh, effective way for us not just to channel her there but to release you know, the heaviness brought about by the rising of the meaning um, there are like three or four stages to the Kachari Mudra 
Right. So the first stage is just learning to curl our tongues to enter the box of the uvula. Right. So for example, you can already do that. How do we breathe through the process? Or how do we breathe through the process before we you know, curl our tongues backwards? So I have here an illustration so we could reinforce our learning. All right. So from the mouth, yeah, we will fold our tongue to enter the backs of the uvula, the little tongue. So how do we breathe through that? All right. So it's a exhale retention, rechaka ex, uh, kumbaka. So as you exhale the breath out, but first you have to breathe, just to lift the spine tall and open the pathways of the energy, and exhale all the way down to the origin of the energy, which is the abs. And then you're going to perform a light uh, clip of your um, Mula Bandha as well as your Udhyana Bandha, but don't squeeze. You know, just finish the exhalation and you will feel that you know, gentle suction happening organically in the abs. And then you're going to perform a light uh, exhalation retention, you know, red chakra kumbaka. And at that particular point, you, know, you, you know, curl the tongue backwards to enter the uvula, such as this. Inhale, exhale. Exhale. And then allow the tongue to enter the box of the uvula. All right. As the tongue rests there, you will feel some more air left inside the nostrils. All right. So you will allow the air to exit the nostrils, but keep the seal, the kumbaka. All right. So now technically you're exhaling from your uh, respiratory system, but you just exhale from the nostrils. It's a very shallow exhalation just to release yeah, the trapped air inside here you know, while you're holding the uh, exhale retention and as the tongue is resting behind your uvula. All right. So I will be um, showing you just that stage. All right. So this is really a, a complex process of breathing through the Kachari Mudra. So first stage, just the entry and how to release the trapped air around the nostrils. Now breathing in, exhaling, Good. Now when you're able to release the old air out of the nose yeah, and the tongue is comfortably resting there so you don't want to squeeze it, you know, just relax the tip of the tongue, just relax. Yeah? So you will spend many months here or even here, years just to allow the tongue to be comfortable folding in and out and then just relax the, the backs of your nasal region. Right? So after you release the old air out, all right. You will be practicing the Ujjayi breath, preferably the Ujjayi breath, right? or your natural breath. Right? And the movement of the breath you know, as you inspire is rising, it's growing up. All right. That will initiate the rising of the tongue higher up you know, to enter the second stage which is you know, behind you know, the middle bone right so in here you know, the first stage inhale to the second stage all right in here around this part right. so this is the most beautiful of all you know, because this is where the breath becomes so deep the Ujjayi breath becomes so meaningful you know, when we're able to master breathing uh, while the tongue is suspended you know, between the first bone, the inferior bone, and the middle bone around this part. Right. Um, why do I say so? So, inspiring through the Ujjayi breath there will validate the you know, presence of the Anahata Chakra. Right. This is my favorite uh, stage of the Kachari Mudra because the breath is flowing, there's no struggle, there's no strain, there's only willingness and openness. 
and then the heart becomes so nourished you know you will feel its warmth its vastness its emptiness but it's so rich for the soul you know it brings about the good qualities of the heart and once we're able to breathe deeply through our lungs and the rest of our respiratory system we gain access to the higher functions of the breath and then we will use that awareness now to continue the cleansing process of our inner systems you know, the nadis as well as the chakras so deep no asana could ever attain only the breath can reach those deeply hidden spots so this is so beautiful if you approach it from that perspective not the destination but the journey leading to the destination because at the end of it really i tell you there's nothing there nothing special it's just a wall uh, so what makes the process beautiful is what we learn as we go through it all right so many months or even years into the future yeah as you gain more confidence breathing through it there's no way but for your awareness to rise higher and now you will enter the final stage where the sensation this is now becomes more of a sensation yeah the tongue definitely is inside all right but it's more of the suction the seal of the breath which will close the pathway of the breath right here yeah so you're now gonna go higher to enter the final pathway here yeah. which is between the middle bone and the superior bone right the tongue will now rest there right but it's not literally the tongue all right you know the tongue is there but it's more of the sensation the suction now coming from the breath coming from the bandhas and then you will be able to relate with this yeah, since you've experienced them in the bottom regions of your body like you're doing a jalandhara bandha very similar it's just that you're doing it inside the head and this is challenging because not because of the technique yeah, the technique is easy the tongue will just find its way there but yeah the heart and the spirit because you know it's there but it's too far yeah, something like that so you know that the bone is there you can reach it but the tongue won't be able to find it like it's so close yet too far yeah. so my advice is wait don't rush yeah, so just wait you've come a long way yeah, and that's enough right just wait and it will happen the tongue will just beautifully the sensation I mean will close the gap so when you perform the seal yeah, there's no brain there's no stress there's no pressure yeah, there's no discomfort right. and this is now when the soma drips down right here you won't miss it there's only one <laughs> taste it's the soma rasa yeah right here at first the soma is succulent it's a bit moist and fluidy but yeah, over a period of time you will be able to distinctively uh, isolate it actually when you release the tongue the taste is lingering and it's step and the soma yeah it's uh, very straightforward similar as what the book describes it yeah, salty sweet as you hold the retention there yeah, you will feel now this the inner brain yeah, so the inner brain is the higher connections uh, of our bodies to the cosmic world the first is the heart yeah. and then the second is the inner brain like you're really looking inside the brain it's there's nothing there yeah. it's black it's empty there are frequencies there sound vibrations and as you look inside your brain yeah you will experience a mild pressure here around the middle brain inside yeah. because as you hold the seal definitely you know the pressure goes there a little bit because you're you're creating this suction here does yeah some of it will push towards the backs of the cranial region right here yeah 
and when the pressure becomes heavy how do we release all right so that's the next stage all right so the release is the reverse of the entry oh by the way i uh, failed to mention how do we breathe through the stage all right so the the second stage is you're breathing through your ujjayi right it's inside Now, when you want to enter the, the, the final stage, uh, it's Puraka Kumbhaka, inhale retention. So at the top of that Ujjayi breath, clap, all right, and then roll the tongue to slide backwards and over the um, middle bone. Similar to how you curl your tongue to enter your uvula. Similar, very similar, because here, the bone is a bit protruded. Yeah, it's it's actually it's soft. Yeah, it's rounded. Yeah, and then at the top of that inhale retention, yeah, you will slide it back and over the bone, so it can hang again here between similar to here, similar to here. Yeah. so inhale retention. You may close your eyes, you may meditate upon the inner brain, yeah? but you won't be able to breathe here. Uh, so there's this requirement to hold the retention. And when the pressure becomes heavy, how to release. All right. So at the top of that um, suction, take a light clip up like a mock breath and slide your tongue to enter again the second zone. Good and then breathe few times in the ujjayi yeah. and then inhale clap slide it down to the backs of the uvula and then when the pressure is gone exhale and restore the mouth the tongue inside your mouth again so that's how you breathe through the process from the entry to the top suction and then from the highest suction to the release right. but when you gain efficiency with this you can do it in one breath yeah, from the entry goes straight up to the highest seal okay now caution as you go through the many stages you will experience many anatomical components there because there are holes yeah it's not just this yeah it's more complex than this there are holes inside uh, and inside those holes then the tube are nerves all right, sensitive nerves don't touch them they're not part of the Kachari mudra all right those nerves are directly connected to the sense organs eyes nose ears your mouth even the the inner brain and your lungs and the heart and if you put pressure on them uh, it might disrupt your sense organs as well as it could disrupt the flow of blood in and out of the brain which could lead to serious conditions so don't touch the nerves they're not the process they're not part of the process focus on the box only yeah. close to the bone of your skull yeah don't explore what's inside because there are the nerves here yeah under in between the spaces don't touch them all right again don't touch them focusing on the breath and then the sliding of the tongue the sensation to rise upwards towards the back of your head close to the skull yeah because this is where the tongue goes back and up not to the front it's towards the back you know but so in theory it looks complicated but really it's easy when you have a strong set of energetic locks because the way we breathe through Gachari Mudra is exactly the same as how we breathe our energetic locks when we are applying them in the bottom regions of the body. So when you breathe through your energetic locks, right, you inhale and it rises. It's just that this time your tongue is behind the throat. And then you do your retention. And then similar, exactly similar when you're doing your Nadi Shodana, you're doing your retention. And then when the pressure gets heavy, take a light clip of breath and slowly release the tongue 
and when you feel openness exhale the breath out and then do it again exactly similar so the bandage here would have to be developed because the awareness is exactly the same you know, when you apply it inside the brain so if you have a teacher teaching you this be grateful really be very grateful but if you're one of the few or many you want to tackle it alone I didn't have a teacher, it happened to me spontaneously, I didn't know about Keshuri Mudra at all. So experience happened to me first. I'm just translating my lessons in reverse. Yeah, but it's very possible. Develop your body first, develop your bandhas, continue the cleansing work yeah, until you feel the redness happen around the mouth and the jaw, electrical pulsations accumulating here. Just exercise your tongue, Talabya Kriya, Duan Kriya, Chalan Kriya. Good. Do them over and over again until the tongue develops the flexibility and the strength and it is able to fold backwards. That's the start of it. All right. The bandhas will do the rest all the way to the finish of the method. So keep it safe, keep it meaningful, and just enjoy. Till the next time. Namaste.